For the last 16 days, Nicaragua's police had prevented Matagalpa's Bishop Rolando Alvarez from leaving his residence, not even to preside over mass. Siempre. Always the road in front of our diocese is closed and blocked by the national police. But that was not the end of it. Before dawn Friday, police raided the bishop's residence, detained lay priests and staff, and put Bishop Alvarez under house arrest. In a statement, the police called it, quote, an operation to recover normality for citizens and families of Matagalpa, accusing Bishop Rolando Alvarez of repeated acts of destabilization and provocations. With the vast majority of government opponents in prison or in exile, Nicaragua's Catholic Church has become a thorn in the side of President Daniel Ortega and his wife Rosario Murillo, who is the vice president. The presidential couple accused the bishop of instigating dissent ever since they gave refuge to anti-government protesters during widespread demonstrations in 2018. Human rights organizations are again raising their voice and demanding the release of those arbitrarily detained. The Secretary General is very concerned by the severe closure of democratic and civic space in Nicaragua and recent actions against civil society organizations, including those of the Catholic Church. Reports of a raid against the residents of the Catholic Bishop of Matagalpa only heighten these concerns. Bishop Alvarez is the fourth priest to be put under house arrest in as many months. This is incredible repression against the church and repression against Catholic people, but we remain here praying to the Virgin Mary. Shortly after the bishop's arrest, a group of Latin American and European statesmen called on Pope Francis to break his silence and speak out forcibly against what they call Ortega's persecution of the Catholic Church. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.